Hey guys, what is up? Petmarth Roy here, and welcome back to Let's Play Soul Calibur Legends. In the last episode, we finished up the Pyrenees Trail and got our next assignment now that we have also gained a new party member, Ivy. And in this episode, we are going to start with the Cypress Arena. So, victory conditions. Eliminate all enemies at the arena in Cypress and acquire the key. Defeat conditions. All allies are defeated. The Guardian is based at the old city cathedral in the far north. The cathedral itself has been sealed, and no one has set foot in it. Since the Swedes conquered their neighbors, the Finns, 300 years ago. Even I know that. Oh wait, that was Ezka. My bad. Is that the extent of your information network? What's that mean? I found the key to the cathedral. Really? I acquired information that it is in Cyprus, home of the eastern fortress of the Republic of Venice. Apparently when the former king of Sweden visited the island, he lost on a bet at the tournament. Nobles are so stupid. You got that right, man. But so <laughs> Well, he kind of just consulted his master. W whatever, that's not important. But Cyprus is located next to the Ottoman Empire, and that's controlled by Barbaros. It's already under the control of evils. Then all we need to do is destroy them and take it. Well, aren't you all fired up? Ivy. Jeez. But the boy's right. Let's go. And now, that you have more than one player, you can choose two people. And it will explain how to switch later on. If not right off the bat. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go! Disappear, you evil being! Okay, so you can press B and C, B and Z, or C and Z. I choose uh, typically the Z and B, or B and Z. That one works best for me. But I'd recommend B and C or B and Z, not C and Z. It, it just feels weird whenever I do that. This is a very interesting area because you're not really adventuring much. You're more of just defeating all the enemies that appear. You're just kind of stuck on this platform, so... Jump and kill! Jump and kill! And all these jars around here have healing or uh, the magic spheres, as I know them. That's not their real name, but whatever. Oh, I thought I was targeting onto the rock guy. Well, since we haven't seen Ivy in battle, you know what? You shall see hell. Please try to keep your eyes north of the equator, folks. Of course, those of you that have played so caliber, you know that Ivy wears less and less, less and less clothing with each. Uh, that's what I'm looking for here. Almost said episode, but with each game. Yes, these guys will drop items whenever they're defeated. I like her sword though because it's a lot faster than Zigfree, but it's got a good extension because it's an extendable sword. Ravage. 
Yeah, these guys will be really annoying later on, especially. What I seek still lies ahead. I like that level, though. Oh, just a fighting level. I mean, the adventure's cool, but, you know, just good old fight's always fun. So whenever you get that class up, you'll see in a second when it does. And I got a B, but whatever. But yeah, I'm at Swordmaster, just so you know, on my, on the highest file I ever got to. And then, so after you get that class up, you go up one, in this case, the quartz fired. Uh, once you get really high up in levels, you'll gain new weapons, but that is much later. Most of them you just gain throughout the story. But Siegfried's best weapon, you have to be the highest rank possible. So this is the key to the old city cathedral. A cathedral that's been sealed for 300 years. You know, that reminds me of a story my sister told me a long time ago. When the Swedish army invaded, a force led by the warrior Sigurd barricaded themselves in a cathedral in Turku. I'm not a history person, so if I pronounce them wrong, my bad. They fought the Swedes until their last man fell. After that, the Swedes sealed the cathedral, fearing Sigurd's curse. I really miss my sister's stories. You'll hear more about uh, Iska's backstory throughout the game as well. Like I said, if this game has one thing good about it, it explains backstory quite well. So let's go to, where is this? The Xenon Mansion. Victory conditions, eliminate all enemies and find Leonardo. Defeat conditions, all allies are defeated. You know how all over the world there are legends about dragons? They all originated from one source. Basically a story about one monster became different legends in various regions. The guardian we are after is that monster. The Guardian Fanfir, or Fafnir, whatever, is a dragon that slaughtered thousands of soldiers in the Imperial Army. Now that you fought him once, that green dragon, you can see how impossible it is to defeat him unless he's on the ground. We can't do any damage to him with a sword once he takes flight. We'll need a weapon that can shoot him down from the air. And I finally found one who's developed a weapon that can shoot him down. He's a world-renowned artist, a genius. He's also famous as a scientist. It's rumored that he had died, but apparently he's in London. London, really? Hey, aren't you from London, Ivy? Have you ever heard of the Xenon Mansion? The mansion that is said to be inhabited by many alchemists. Yes, it's the house where the French alchemist Nicolas Flamel and Xenon the Italian lived. Though nowadays it's completely overrun by evils. Anyway, according to my informants, that scientist is living there. A genius scientist. So let's go and get rid of all the evils from that house. If you're wondering at the name of Siegfried's sword, since it's not the real Soul Edge, it's called Soul Edge Alpha. I can't die here. The kaleidoscope. So let's get started here. Oh, hello. Yeah, sometimes it'll lock on you like this, where you can't escape unless you defeat them all. Okay, so this is another item. This right here is called a blade heart. I uh, will get into what those do at the end of the level. runs from me. I'll fight you. But you do want to collect a lot of blade hearts, just so you know. Yeah, that's how you sidestep. I don't sidestep very much. If at all. Alright, so this is kind of a main room of, room of sorts. Every time you uh, beat or a set of enemies in here, it'll open a new door and you'll get something and come back, or unlock something and come back. Watch out right here because, yeah, Boulder will try to run you over. It's not insta kill, but it will do damage. And the blade heart. Switch to Ivy. You shall see how. <laughs> This guy over here. 
Still, like, shoot projectiles at you. They're quite annoying, actually, because they do that. Close range, though, they're no match for you. Shield. Or jump over them. Either one works to get rid of those little thing jigs. There might be a blade heart in one of those. Ah, uh, well, too late now. Whatever. I walked right into that. I'm not talking much, but there's not really much strategy involved here. Yeah, there will be in later levels, especially against bosses, but here it's just kind of like defeat the enemies and move on. There's not really any kind of a maze of any sort. There will be later on, but in early levels like this, no. Alright, so these are annoying because they come from overhead, so if you jump, you'll get hit by them. If not, then you don't have to worry about them, but you've also got spikes underneath them, so that can be slightly annoying. Also, make sure if you find a healing item or one of those green sphere things, if the character you're using is already full on whatever you find, uh, check and make sure your other characters are full on that, whether it's health or the uh, spheres. And then if they aren't, switch over to them and let them have it. Die? Thank you. Jeez. Oh, there's still one more. Bring. Goodbye. This is pointless. I guess you didn't even have time for any more. And there we go. Uh, let's see if we can knock out one more level here. Alright, so Blade Hearts. See how Siegfried's and Ivy's bar move up a little bit at the bottom? That's what they do. And once you get them up to a high, or once it gets up higher, you know, for each level, um, your sword, which I'll show you in the next thing, but whatever, we'll get that in a second. I have to get through all the cutscenes stuff. We got rid of all the evils. Iska, did you find that scientist? No. Siegfried, Iska, look. Huh? What? Here's Leonardo. So you got rid of the evils? It seems I'm in your debt. Who are you? I thought you knew this guy. Where did you come from? There are many devices in this house. I was hiding in the cellar. Are you Leonardo? Yes, I am. I thought I was dead to the outside world. Did you come here for a reason? Yes. Are you the one that created a weapon that can shoot down a dragon? Shoot down a dragon? Yeah, a weapon they say you developed. We need to defeat Guardian Fanir. Fafnir. Whatever. I used to call him Fanfear. He's a very annoying boss, actually. Oh, that thing. I did build it professing that it could shoot down dragons, but... But what? Well, it's only theoretical. I have no proof it can actually do that. After all, I've never actually encountered a dragon. However, if I say that a weapon can slay a dragon, then it has the power to do so. It should have more than enough power to kill an evil. Shooting one to the ground won't be a problem at all. 
then it should be just fine. I'm sorry, but we need you to come with us. I suppose I have no choice in the matter? You suppose correctly. We're under direct orders from His Majesty, the Emperor. Oh, alright, I can't ignore the suffering of others anyway. I am human, after all. I thank you on behalf of the Emperor. Alright, let's hurry up and cross the channel. Right. Wait one moment. What? That sword, it's Soul Edge, isn't it? You best... You'd best not rely too heavily on that sword, young man. Power can never truly recover or protect anything. Don't lecture me. Hey, Siegfried, what are you doing? Let's go. Okay. We now have the weapons we need to destroy Guardian Fafnir. Ha, get it right. And the key to the old city cathedral. I guess this is it. It'll be interesting to see how my weapons fare. I didn't think you'd be so excited, old man. Of course I'm excited. My weapons are going to kill a dragon. Okay, I see. Alright, Siegfried, let's head to the old city cathedral. I'm sure Barbaros is still headed for Vienna even now. Let's go defeat Fafnir and get back the Shard of Soul Edge. Guardian Fafnir. Victory conditions defeat the Guardian. Defeat conditions all hours later defeated. This weather's harsh on an old man like me, so this is the old city cathedral, the place where the warriors. Sigurd made his last stand. About the Dragon Slayers. Dragon Slayers? The weapons. I named after him an ancient weapon. I think it's a marvelous name. Oh yeah, that's really... I don't know about your naming sense. Now hold on, I'm a genius, you know? Anyway, we can only set them up at the top of the tower beyond the cathedral, but the tower is surrounded by evils. I doubt we can get them up there. So Siegfried will keep them occupied. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying about the, um... The, what you call it? It's the Blade Hearts. If you get enough, uh, you see how Soul Edge Alpha has also got level 1 beside it. It will go up to level 2 and then up to level 3. So its power will get stronger and it will take less hits to kill an enemy. That is what those are for. You do have to collect quite a bit of them to actually get your weapon up to level 3, though. And you've got to do it for each weapon you obtain. You think you can stop me? No one yeah, I know I'm using Ivy a lot, but we saw Siegfried in the opening areas, so... Now you can actually break these, so make sure to do so and then check for items. And they show up a little late, so give them a second to spawn. See? There you go, Bladeheart. See, I'm not crazy. Look, it's Lizard Man. You actually see Lizard Man's. You've already seen Berserkers, those big, huge guys. And then there's also Assassins, which actually aren't that powerful. So, so every time you defeat a. Or, no, here we go. Some doors will open by putting out flames or activating switches. Like this. Usually in the set of pillars, though, there's only one that will actually give you something. Alright, so here what you need to do is turn the statue to make sure that it, they're both facing the, the way of the uh, switch that's next to him. So this one you have to face this direction to get the thing to light up on. And depending on which direction you slash, whether you slash this way or that way, will actually depend on which direction he goes. So you do have to think a little bit before you swing. Okay, so the other one is hidden back here. Now I should begin 
death to Siegfried, but oh well. Alright, move fast there. Blade hearts. That opens up the door back there. That's the wrong way. You go around. And through here. They make a note of this place. This will come in handy later. This sword you'll also get later. In fact, there's a cutscene about it. Look, Siegfried. There's an old sword stuck here. Yeah, well, there's not much we can do about it. But since you mentioned Siegfried, might as well switch back to him for a little while. Or why not? Okay, I guess you have to move the stairs for the enemies to appear. Alright, this is minus the boss, the final part. And there are bigger power spheres, just like there's bigger health jars. These guys take a long time to kill, in case you can already tell that. And now we're at the top. Boss battle time. Yep, he's back. After a while, he will take off into the sky. So you have to hit the dragon slayers, which are these. Okay, I want you over here. Okay, that missed him somehow. Hey, that's not what you're supposed to do. Dude, would you move into the side of one of the dragon slayers so I can actually hit you? Of course. Get up. Jeez, this is why I don't like this fight. Oh, 
There we go. It does a little bit of damage, but the idea is just to make him come back down. I didn't get hit right there. Oh yeah, now you move in this direction. Do what you You shall see how Oh yes, let's start right by hitting me. Thank you, Ivy, for doing what Siegfried failed to do. out of the way. Whoa, she barely beat him. If one of your characters dies, though, the other character will kick in, but if they both die, you're going to lose. Or in the really early chapters, if Siegfried dies, obviously you lose, because you don't have a teammate to help you. Jeez, that was much harder than it should have been. So this is the power of Soul Edge. Uh, no, it's still not restored, Siegfried. It just got one piece of it back. You misjudged your ability. There's four pieces in all. Well, I'm not counting the one he's got. So. Three more. Three more. If getting it back was that easy, you know. Another class up. And since Ivy spent a lot of the time playing the level, she got most of the, uh, uh, blade hearts, or whatever they're called. So, she kind of got farther up there. And now we move up to Crystal Fighter. So this is Solidge's shard. Ugh, Solidge is filled with power. Then you've done it, boy. Yes, so my Dragon Slayers actually slew a dragon. No, they did a little bit of damage. We killed them. Good for you, Leonardo. They certainly lived up to the name. Uh, more like, I'd call them Dragon Knockout of the Skyers or something. I don't know. <laughs> they were hell to set them up, though. Yes, I didn't say this game was ready for everyone. True, but it was a magnificent thing to witness this late in life. Leonardo, well, I'll be taking my leave now. Come and see me again if you need help defeating the Guardians. There are still evils on the second floor of the Xenon Mansion, but I'm sure I'll manage. Thank you. I don't like sentimental goodbyes. By the way, young man, be watchful of that sword. I will the power of the ledge after it absorb the shard. I can feel it. The sword's might. Really? You're right. I don't know much about fighting, but I can sense a great evil coming from that sword. Alright, I guess we should go back to his highness for now. Wait, hey look! And then it's Jochum. This is one of, um... It's one of your... It's one of the... Your highness... Masked Emperor's... Main... Troops... Leader. Jochum, what's wrong? Barbaros is on the move. Vienna is currently under siege by the army of the Ottoman Empire. His Majesty wants you to return at once. Damned. It's too soon. Then I guess the Imperial Army is in more trouble than we thought. Let's go back now. It must be pretty dire to ask for his, med for his Majesty to ask us for help. We can't let Vienna fall. This happens a lot throughout the game. You'll constantly have to go back and help them over and over. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. I know you have to do it at least three or four times. But we'll tackle that next time, because we're almost at 30 minutes, so that's plenty long enough of a video for you guys. So I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Later.